Hi, Cap Steve for BoatTest.com, and today I'm going to do a performance evaluation and sea trial on the 34SC from Fountain. Fountain's always known for five things comfort, fishing, performance, safety, and handling. We're going to see if all those boxes are checked. Now, our test boat's powered by triple 300 horsepower Mercury engines. We can get twin 300s on up to triple 450 horsepower Mercury racing engines. There's a clean installation, so we have plenty of room to walk along here and service the engines. There's a tie bar connecting the port engine with the center engine. Now, the cockpit is accessed from an inward opening door held open by a magnetic catch. The decking is all non-skid rubberized matting. Standard scenario for the transom is a live well with seating on top of it. Here we've got the seating going all the way across 66 inches and we're already seeing the quality fountain fit and finish with embroidery work and the nice stitching. Flip up armrests and underneath this, there's self-draining storage. There's padding on top of the cap rails, four combination rod holder and beverage holders. Padded bolsters start here and go all the way forward and they start at 26 inches high. Raw water wash down and fresh water wash down. Deck drains to both sides and it's a hull side dive door. Ahead of me is aft facing seating. It's 48 inches wide. There are beverage holders all the way across the back of it. Underneath, live well. Top is held open by tension hinges, rounded corners and it's colored blue. Powder coated rails to both sides. Easily accessed compartment in the center of the deck with bilge pump access, pickup for the live well, water tank, and fuel manifolds. The hatch is finished on the underside, gasketed all the way around, held open by two support struts, guttered, leading to drains that lead overboard. Moving around to the side, we have index storage and pull-out storage. We can get this optioned out for tackle storage. Continuing forward, 16 inches between the support for the hardtop and the padded bolster, another index storage compartment, and it's self-draining, leading all the way back and overboard. Cargo net storage underneath the gunnel, powder coated grab handle just above the padded bolster, and pull-up midship cleat. There's a chaise lounge just ahead of the console, and it's got a flip-down armrest in the center, flip-down armrest to both sides. There's storage inside. And now's a good time to talk about the fact that Fountain uses only 32 ounce upholstery and different density foams in different positions of the seat. Fully forward, we have V seating with a bolster wrapping all the way around, storage in the center and underneath both side seats. Not skin continuing all the way to the foredeck, there are two hatches. First one, just storage and it is self-draining. The second one has the ground tackle in it with a Lumar windlass leading to a through the stem anchor roller. Fully forward, two pull-up cleats. As we come back, there's 12 inches between the front of the chaise lounge and the side of the seating area. And that brings us to the head compartment. It's an electric flush toilet with a sink just alongside. At the aft bulkhead, there's a zipper that leads us to battery storage. Just above are the battery switches, the breaker switches and the ignitions. On the port side bulkhead, there's an opening port light providing natural light and ventilation inside the console compartment. Helm is nicely laid out. Two storage compartments with tension hinges, large Garmin displays, fusion stereo in the middle. All this is mounted to a carbon fiber panel with electrical switches just below the stereo. Large vessel view display, trim tab display right alongside that. The trim tab controls are just ahead of the engine controls. Joystick controllability, Garmin VHF, and the Optimus control panel just below that. Beverage holders, powder coated grab rail, and then nice padded bolster going the full length. Steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base. Two separate bucket seats with flip down bolsters, flip down armrests, flip down footrests, and I can't help but notice that there are just speakers everywhere around this boat. Premium sound system. Now, while this is under the protection of the hardtop, and I'd like to say it's a contoured hardtop, but it's much more than that. It's so intricately designed. It's even got a control for bringing the all-around nav light up and down, speakers, LED lighting. It's just a really, really nice job. The Fountain 34 SC has a length overall of 34 feet 2 inches, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 29 inches. 
With an empty weight of 13,500 pounds, 18% fuel, and three people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 14,566 pounds. With triple 300 horsepower Mercury Verados turning 25 pitch four bladed propellers and spun up to 6,000 RPM, our speed topped out at 68.2 miles per hour. Best Cruise was reached at 3,500 RPM and 34.3 miles per hour. It was at that speed that the 23.4 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 1.5 miles per gallon in a range of 551 statute miles. All while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 418 gallon total fuel capacity. With the throttle's pin, she'll come up on plane in an average 4.1 seconds and she'll stay on plane down to 17.5 miles per hour. She has a 0 to 20 time of 5.6 seconds, passes through 30 in 8.5 and through 40 in 11.5. She handles like a performance boat. I put it into a turn and it's like you're drifting a high-end sports car. She doesn't grab into the turn. She puts it into a nice bank and just cranks that stern right around. It's flat calm out today, but crossing our own wake, crossing the wake of other boats, she just cuts right through. And if we hit a big wake, she'll come up off of that wake and then press down into the next wave. It's not a pound into that. You brace for an impact that just never comes. But when you come up on plane, she does have a lot of bow rise, so don't be shy about hitting that throttle. Get her up and over that hump. Get that bow back down. You've got the horsepower to do it, so use it. Well, I started this video by mentioning five items, and certainly all of those have been checked off, plus a whole lot more. And that seems to be a consistent theme with Fountain, and certainly with the 34 SC. And that's my full features inspection and performance evaluation. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.